good morning everybody it's me pravina i am here to present the, the continuation of network theory topics in the last class we have discussed about the kepler's voltage law and uh, i have given a problem um, which uses the kepler's voltage law um, i think you already have solved it anyway i am discussing its answer Uh, the question is that for the circuit shown in figure determine the unknown voltage drop v1 the circuit do- diagram is shown in the figure so you are asked to find out the value for voltage v1 right so what are the other components present in the circuit diagram there are four resistors and a voltage source 30 volt and all these resistors are connected in series to the 30 volt voltage so- source so we are asked to find out v1 so v1 is uh, v1 is the voltage drop across this resistor so we can it is a series circuit so we can simply apply kepler's voltage law what is kepler's voltage law the algebraic sum of the voltages in a closed loop will be equal to zero so we can apply that rule to this circuit to, to find v1 so first of all we have to write 30 volt minus 2 volt minus 1 volt minus v1 minus 3 volt minus 5 volt equal to 0 here 30 volt is positive because we are coming to the positive terminal of the battery next the current goes from 30 volt to 2 first resistor and then to second resistor we know that current flows from higher potential to lower potential so the sign of the voltage drop will be negative so 30 volt minus 2 volt again current uh, current flows from higher voltage to lower voltage so minus 1 again current we are assuming that the current flows from um, flows from the upper portion to lower portion of the resistor so a negative sign for v1 similarly we can write the um, other minus 5 volt and minus 3 volt so we will get 19 minus v1 equal to 0 so v1 equal to 19 so we can simply solve this circuit diagram by simply applying the kepler's voltage law okay um, next question is what is the current in this circuit is shown in figure and determine the voltage across each resistor a circuit diagram is shown in figure that circuit diagram contains 10 volt battery 1 mega ohm resistor 3.1 mega ohm resistor 400 kilo ohm resistor and 500 kilo ohm resistor so we are asked to find out the current in this circuit it is a series circuit and also we have to find out the voltage across each resistor since it is a series circuit the current from 10 volt battery will flow um, in uni direction so the current will be same current through each resistor will be the same therefore we can find out the current by using ohms law what is ohms law ohms law states that the current will be equal to the ratio of voltage and resistances here the resistance is 1 mega ohm 3.1 mega ohm 400 kilo ohm and 500 kilo ohm therefore current can be found out by i is equal to v by r where over here resistance are um, there are four resistances so therefore i will be is equal to voltage divided by total resistance voltage is 10 volt and resistances can be uh, uh, resistance can be replaced by the ohm value that is 10 divided by 1 mega ohm can be written as 1 into 10 raised to 6 ohm plus 3.1 mega ohm can be written as 3.1 into 10 raised to 6 plus 400 kilo ohm can be written as 400 into 10 raised to 3 plus 500 kilo ohm can be written as 500 into 10 raised to 3 ohm so we can simply solve by basic mathematical rule 10 divided by the first two terms become 4.1 into 10 raised to 6 plus last two terms become 900 into 10 raised to 3 so 10 raised to 3 can be taken outside so 10 divided by 4.1 into 10 raised to 3 plus 900 that is in bracket and 10 raised to 
so ten raised to three mm, comes to the upper part so it will become ten raised to minus two so that is equal to ten into ten raised to minus three divided by four thousand hundred plus nine hundred four point one into ten raised to three can be written as four thousand hundred that will be equal to ten raised to minus two divided by two thousand five sorry mm, that is ten raised to minus two divided by five thousand so that will be is equal to 4 into 2 into 10 raised to minus 5 that is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 6 current will be is equal to 2 micro ampere current will be equal to 2 micro ampere so this circuit diagram can be simply solved by applying ohm's law because we are asked to find out the current in that circuit also we are asked to find out the voltage across each resistor the voltage drop across each resistor will be equal to V is equal to current through flowing through it I into R. We have find out I is equal to 2 micro ampere. So voltage drop across 1 mega ohm resistor is equal to I into 1 mega ohm. That is I is equal to 2 micro ampere into 1 mega ohm. So that will be equal to 2 volt. Similarly, the voltage drop across 3.1 mega ohm is equal to i into 3.1 mega ohm that is equal to i will be 2 into 10 raised to minus 6 into 3.1 into 10 raised to 6 that will be equal to 6.2 volt similarly voltage drop across 400 kilo ohm is equal to i into 400 kilo ohm that is equal to 6.8 volt similarly the um, voltage drop across 500 kilo ohm can be written as i into 500 kilo ohm that is equal to 1 volt next is another problem in the circuit is shown in the figure find the current i and the voltage across 30 ohm uh, the circuit diagram is shown in the figure and we are asked to find out the current i and also the voltage drop across 30 ohm we have to um, take a close look at we have to give a close look at this picture there is a 40 volt source 8 ohm resistance and again there is a 100 volt source 2 ohm resistance and 30 ohm resistance um, Actually, this um, circuit diagram confuses us, but it is very simple that there is no interconnection between these two cross these two lines. That means it is a complete closed part, and there is no interconnection between these two lines. So we can redraw this circuit as shown below. That is like this circuit is redraw like redraw like this. When we are looking at this circuit, we can find that the current from the 100 volt source flows from its positive terminal to 8 ohm resistor and then to 30 ohm, then to 2 ohm. That is the part of the current I. So we can redraw this circuit as 40 ohm and 8 ohm and 30 ohm is situated in, in the same position. But we can twist or we can bring 2 ohm resistor to lower side so the circuit diagram will be become like this and the current flow will be like this you should just practice um, in a notebook then you will get the same diagram okay sometimes it may, it may be um, confusing you uh, but it will be very easy um, when you are um, using your pen and notebook okay uh, it will not be easy when you are simply sitting and watching this video so you should write on the notebook what I am saying or what I am practicing okay this is a um, uh, this is a final circuit diagram uh, and in this what we are asked to find out is we have to find out the current I um, this is a series circuit we can find out the current by simply applying Kipchoz mm, voltage law mm, so coming from the 40 volt side sorry mm, sorry here the current direction is from mm, uh, 100 volt battery side so we simply write 100 volt minus h into i minus 40 minus 30 into i minus 2 into i is equal to 0 this 
here in the circuit uh, the current direction is given so we have to consider the flow of the current will be in that direction so we have to write the equation in such a manner that is why i started from under volt okay in this line it can be written as 60 minus 40i is equal to 0 40i is equal to 60 i will be equal to 60 divided by 40 that is equal to 6 by 4 that is equal to 3 by 2 that is equal to 1.5 ampere so the current um, is 1.5 ampere next we are asked to find out the voltage across 3 ohm 30 ohm for finding out the voltage across 30 ohm we know that the voltage drop is given as v is equal to i into R, the current is since it is a series circuit the current is obtained as 1.5 ampere so voltage across 30 volt is equal to i into r that is equal to 1.5 into 30 ohm that will be equal to 45 volt these are the basic problems the basic problems which is used in Celsius law next is the term voltage division what do you mean by voltage division if we have a series circuit consisting of resistors r1 r2 r3 etc of the rm the source voltage is vs mm, then the current flows mm, flows from vs through r1 r2 etc of the rm mm, to the negative terminal of vs due to the flow of the current there will be some voltage drop across r1 r2 r3 and rm and we know that the voltage across Rm is Vrm that is equal to that is equal to Vrm can be found out by voltage across Rm can be found out by voltage will be is equal to I into Rm and here I will be same for R1, R2, R3 because they these all are connected in series so we can find out i as i is equal to vs divided by r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus rm so what vrm can be find out by substituting the value of i so vrm will be is equal to vs into rm divided by r1 plus r2 plus etc plus rm therefore vr1 is equal to vs into r1 divided by r total r total is equal to r1 plus r2 plus etc up to rm Next is a problem. So, the problem question is that what is the voltage across 10 ohm resistor in the figure below? The figure is 50 volt connected in, um, in series to 5 volt, 5 ohm and 10 ohm as shown in the figure, and we have to find out the voltage across the 10 ohm. We can simply apply this is a series circuit, we can simply apply celsius voltage law to find out the voltage across 10 ohm therefore v10 is equal to total voltage 50 into 10 divided by 10 plus 5 that is equal to 3.3 volt 33 sorry 33.3 volt next question is find the voltage between a and b in a voltage divider network is shown in the figure this figure contains 100 volt connected in series to 1 kilo ohm 5 kilo ohm and 4 kilo ohm we have to find out the voltage drop between a and b as you want to refer uh, the total resistance of 9 kilo ohm the voltage across 9 kilo ohm is equal to 100 into 9 divided by 1 plus 5 plus 4 that is equal to 10 kilo ohm therefore the voltage across 9 kilo ohm will be is equal to 90 volt next to topic is power in a series circuit consider a voltage was connected in series with that of R1, R2, etc. of the RM. Then the power in that series circuit or power consumed by um, the circuit will be is equal to Ps. Total is equal to P1 plus P2 plus etc. of the Pm. Where Ps is equal to, um, we know that power equation is voltage into current. Therefore, Ps is equal to Vs into I. So we can substitute for um, Vs as Is square into um, Rt. Therefore, I square I'm sorry I is square V I'm sorry maybe we can substitute for Vs as Is into R I square into R therefore Ps will be is equal to I square into Rt 
Also, we can substitute for I S V by R T. Therefore, I square will be V S square divided by R T. Square and R T will be equal V S square divided by R T. Next question is sir, determine the total amount of power in this uh, in this series circuit. Here there is a series circuit is given. This is going to be voltage source of 50 volt and 4 resistance are connected in series. One is 5 ohm, other is 2 ohm, other is 1 ohm and other is 2 ohm. And we have asked to find the total amount of power in the series circuit. Total amount of power is equal to equal to Vs, Vs into I that is equal to I square into RT that is equal to Vs square by RT here it is it will be easier to solve this problem by using Vs square by RT equation power total is equal to Vs square divided by RT where RT is the total resistance that is equal to 5 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 Vs is given as 50 volts by simply substituting the values we will get the power as 250 watt next is Kirchhoff's current law Kirchhoff's current law states that the algebraic sum of the current entering into any node is equal to the sum of the current leaving that node the node may be an interconnection of two or more branches uh, consider a circuit which containing the voltage source Vs and the three branches of uh, resistance which are connected in parallel and the current through each of the branches is equal to I1, I2 and I3 mm, and the total current will be IT. The current direction is shown in the figure. Mm, so when we are applying Kirchhoff's mm, current law to node A, we can find IT is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. Similarly, we can consider another node B and the different currents entering to B and leaving to uh, leaving from B is shown below and if we are applying the curve of um, current law to the node B we will get the equation as I1 which is entering the node B and I7 which is entering the node B and I4 which is entering the node B and I2 which is entering the node B so these four terms can be added and equated to B um, other currents which is leaving the node B so we will get I1 plus I2 plus I7 plus I4 is equal to I3 plus I5 plus I6 we can um, um, take the right hand side terms to left hand side so we will get I1 plus I2 plus I7 plus I4 minus I3 minus I5 minus I6 is equal to 0 next is a problem determine the current in all resistors in the circuit is shown in the figure where the current source of 50 ampere is given and three resistors are r1 r2 r3 its values are 2 ohm 1 ohm and 5 ohm and i1 i2 i3 are marked in the diagram and we have asked to find out the current in all resistor the current source is given and different branches and uh, branches are um, given with resistance R1, R2, R3, then current in the resistor can be find out by find out by find out by applying the current divider rule or we can apply since it is a parallel circuit we can apply Kirchhoff's current law since it is a current law we can write that at the node A the, the current coming to the node A is 50 ohm ampere and the leaving the node is equal to current leaving the node A is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 therefore 50 is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 since it is a parallel circuit Its voltage will be same. I1 is equal to V by R1, I2 is equal to V by R2, I3 is equal to V by R3. Therefore, I total is equal to V by R1 plus V 
e by r2 plus e by r3 i told r is equal to 50 other 50 is equal to v into 1 by 2 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 by 5 therefore v is equal to 1.7 volt voltage will be find out next we are asked to find out the current in all the resistance therefore i1 is equal to v by r1 therefore v is 1.7 volt r1 is equal to R1 is R1 is uh, 2 ohm therefore I is equal to V by R1 29.41 divided by 2 that will be equal to 14 by 7 also and I2 is equal to V by R2 that is equal to 29.41 divided by R2 is 1 now so we will get 29.41 and I3 is equal to V by R3 that is equal to 29.45 that is equal to 5.88 ampere next is a problem For the circuit is shown in the figure, find the voltage across the 10 ohm resistor and the current passing through it. Figure shows a circuit with two current source, 5 ampere current source and 10 ampere current source. We are asked to find out the current passing through 10 ohm resistor. In this circuit, the node is marked as A. The current direction are then masked, marked as current flows from the node A for I1, I2, I3 and I4 going to downwards. We can apply Kirchhoff's current law at node A at the node A. I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 plus 5 is equal to 10. Therefore, I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 is equal to 5. And I1 can be written as I1 is equal to, since it is a parallel path V by R1, I2 is equal to V by R2, I3 is equal to V by R3 and I4 is equal to V by R4. By substituting the values of V by R uh, in the above equation, we will get V into 1 by 5 plus 1 by 10 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 is equal to 5. And V is equal to 5 into 100 divided by 180. And we will get V is equal to 2.78 volt. The voltage across the 10 number is basically 2.7 7 8 volt and next question is that the current passing through it the current passing through 10 ohm resistor is equal to voltage into resistance therefore it is equal to 0.278 next question is that determine the current through the resistance r3 in the circuit is shown in the figure And the circuit condenses a voltage source V and the 50 milliampere total current is divided into two parts 30 milliampere and 10 milliampere and also in, through R3 it is I3 and we are asked to find out current through the resistance R3 it is find that the total, uh, total it is a parallel circuit so we can apply Kirchhoff's current law 50 milliampere is coming to the node A and all other currents are leaving therefore 50 is equal to 30 plus 10 plus i3 i3 will be equal to 10 milliampere next is parallel resistance if the resistors are connected in parallel as shown in the figure then the total resistance will be is equal to 1 by r1 R total is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus etc plus 1 by Rm. In the case of parallel circuits, the voltage will be same for every resistor. 
more voltage will be same for every resistor next is the problem that is a determine the parallel resistance between points a and b of the circuit is shown in figure since all the resistors are parallel so 1 by r total is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 by solving the equation we will get r3 is equal to 240 divided by 50 that is equal to 4.8 ohm next is the current division rule 